Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a whip and chat. If you don't know what a whip and chat is, whip is W-I-P. It stands for work in progress. I am working on my Alice in a Winter Wonderland canvas. Um, this is probably going to be the last whip and chat with her because uh, there's not much left. Um, unfortunately, I'm working on this upside down, so it's going to be completely upside down for you guys. So... But most of you aren't watching it anyway. Anyway, let's keep going. So I work on my work in progress. And you can work on whatever it is you want to be working on. Whether it is another crafting project. Or if you want me on in the background while you're doing housework. Or whatever it may be. There is no right or wrong way to whip and chat. Um, if you bring housekeeping tips before we do get into this. If you hear a noise directly to my left. I do have my fan running. Um, the tiny human is sleeping this. I am recording this on Super Bowl Sunday. Um... Go whichever team you want to win. Or not. Um, and you will certainly hear husband noises. My husband is in the room. He'll say, hi husband. Hi husband. Anyway. So, for those who are playing along at home, um, this will be the last video where I put in the Easter eggs that... Um, I should probably specify this if you don't know what I'm talking about. Let me rewind. Um, I will link the video up in the eye. Uh, during these videos here, I like to put in little Easter eggs. What are they, you might ask? They're little tiny flashes on the screen. and Nothing more than like, I want to say, a second or two. Some of them are even for just a fraction of a second. But... Um, I think a lot of people are starting to understand my personality and how I function and are starting to look up. If you see something and you think it is the Easter egg, you screenshot it, you send it to me on a DM on Instagram. The first person to do so will be my featured account for the next update video for the event, um, which will actually be the wrap-up video. So, uh, if you have any interest in that, if that sounds like something that you'd want to participate in, go ahead and, uh, keep those eyeballs peeled. I am aware that most people don't watch Whip and Chats. That's kind of the point of this. Um, it's not meant for you to sit here and watch the whole hour or however long I go for, but it is, um, something that you will likely notice interactive. if you... Interactive. Yes, interactive. Thank you. So, I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff together here. Uh, nothing like going, I was going to say going live, going, recording while you are not completely ready. So, I just want to point one thing out here. So, these two colors, uh, you can see they're very similar. And um, I'm not sure if you're aware of this. If you're not looking, it's a six and a nine. Come on, focus. But if my canvas is upside down makes it real hard so if you're working on a canvas upside down um, or sideways and you want a good little tip to help you to distinguish between put the drill container with the label in the direction your canvas is laying so for example right down here I have some sixes but because the canvas is upside down it's a nine stop focusing on the background um, and it matches up with the symbols down here so that's one little thing I do. Um, I'll put the other one away so I don't confuse myself even further. How are you guys doing tonight? Um, like I said, this is Super Bowl Sunday. I've been living under a rock. I didn't even know. I still don't know. Do I know who's in the Super Bowl? Andy Reid. Is that the Chiefs? Yeah. Okay, that's as far as I know. And the only reason I know that is because Andy Reid used to be the coach of the Philadelphia Eagles and... Uh, my mother is a huge Eagles fan, and I, I know, but my mom has been talking about Andy Reid for the past, like, week. And Patrick Mahomes. She loves Patrick Mahomes. Okay. So, anyway, um, if you guys hear a beeping sound, I do use a timer. So, anyway, if you guys are watching the Super Bowl, um, I hope that you are enjoying it and that you are doing it. Safe and socially distanced. I really don't care much for the Super Bowl, except for, like, a lot of people, the halftime show and the food. Well, the food is a throwaway because it's just him and I here, and neither one of us are watching the Super Bowl. And then 
uh, YouTube, in case you guys didn't know, has like a whole tab now where you can just watch the Super Bowl ads. And I'm pretty sure those already went up before today, but, um, a lot of them did. yeah, speaking of the coronavirus and staying socially distanced, um, I'm going to have a conversation here and it's not going to be up for a debate kind of thing, but I do want to just touch base on this real quick because it'll segue, segue me into something else. Um, my husband and I, all of us, all of our parents, well, are seniors. I, my mom's technically considered a senior, right? Over 65. Yep. So, my father, my mother is the only one of our parents that is not over 75. My mother has not been able to get in anywhere local to her that has... Uh, the COVID vaccine. Now, my father, I'm, I was surprised when he said he had an appointment because his concern is my mother. Um, and then my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, if you had to like rank the grandparents of like who deserved to get their shot first, I, we, I think we would, well, don't tell my family that, but I think we would say your mom just, my, my when I say your mom, I'm talking to my husband. He's like just sitting over there, um, because she has a lot of different health concerns. But she lives in a senior housing community, I guess. And they actually had somebody come, and I think she said 76 people got their shot. So she was so excited that she got the Pfizer one because they make Viagra. So she's like, oh, we're all walking around pretty erect. And I'm like, oh lord, old people humor, I tell you. But my dad gets his first vaccine um, this coming week, and my mom still can't get in anywhere, which is really surprising because my mom also has health concerns, not unlike my mother-in-law, but my mother has kidney disease, and she was... I'm surprised that, like, her kidney doctors haven't been able to be like, okay, this is where we can get you in at. Um, but recently, my mom said to me, and I don't know if I've touched base on this here or not, but my mom said to me, I'm, I have three siblings, there's four of us. She said, one of my four children has the same blood type as me. Yeah, mom, it's me. You knew it's me. Because my mom and I both have O negative. Now, if you know nothing about blood types, which... The average person doesn't. Um, o negative is the universal donor. But the only thing that somebody who's O negative can receive is O negative. So my mom gets hit up by the uh, Red Cross all the time to donate her blood. Um, and if you are unaware of this, if you have a negative blood type, um, it doesn't matter if it's A, B, AB, or O. Uh... You have to have a shot when you're pregnant called Rogam. And I remember when I was pregnant, I, I called my mom and I was like, you did this to me. <laughs> because I was so mad that I had to get an extra shot because I got my blood type from my mom. Anyway, so my mom has casually brought up the, well, if there were ever a need to get a kidney, you'd most likely be... The, uh, donor. the donor. Yep. And I was like, yes, mom, if, if I am a perfect match or whatever the criteria is, I'll give you my, my kidney. And, uh, my husband said to me last night, he's like, you know that that's not going to be an easy surgery. And I was like, no, I know that. But I also know that if given the opportunity to, you know, save my mom's life, I will. This is not something, by the way, for anyone who's listening to this, that, like, is going to happen tomorrow. But my mom informed me on the phone. She's funny. She's like, you know, you should just tuck this away in, in, in the back of your mind. But you will need to have a physical for this. I'm thinking to myself, like, of course I will. <laughs> what do you think? They're just popping kidneys left and right without checking on people. You know? Yeah. And then she's like, and, and you won't have to pay for the surgery. And I'm thinking, like, well, if I do, guess who's getting the bill? Hi, Mom. I say that lovingly. I obviously want the absolute best for my mother. And um, she's not at that point, but she's talking to a team now where they 
want her to start thinking about that. So, um, you know, I, my mom could live the rest of her life and never need this. But I also know that I'm the only one of her children who would be a likely match. So, it is what it is. And I will uh, hang it over her head for the rest of her life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I think this is the point that yeah, I don't even know where my kidney is. And don't come for me if somebody's like, you don't know where it is. It's inside of me, all right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, I realize as I'm sitting here to work on this tonight that uh, this is probably going to be the last opportunity that I have for a whip and chat because I don't, unless I sit and film tomorrow, but I have other things that I need to film and need to get done, including, uh, I don't know why I'm pointing to my canvas when I'm saying that, um, a Q&A. With the data monster, you guys love having more data monster content. And I, if you have any questions at all, put them down below. It can be about him, it can be about us, it can be about his business, it can be about Baseball. our religion, our religion, our relationship. Don't ask about our religion. I don't know why I, I was trying to say relationship, but he's throwing me off because he's flapping those gums because he wants to talk about baseball. One word. Um, in case anyone's curious, his favorite team is the Baltimore Orioles. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you, babe. Uh, as much as I love you, like I don't really want to do a whole Q&A video about baseball with you. Yeah, but if they have a baseball question. Yes, if you have a baseball question, go ahead and leave that below. Or you can DM me. So, uh, by the time this goes up, the event will be... In its last, last week, so for those who don't know, I am hosting my first event on Instagram. It is Alice in a Winter Wonderland, and that's what this canvas is for. This is my Mad Tea Party from Royal Diamond Painting. I have thoughts. There will be a post review, and you will hear those thoughts. But I am sad that it's coming to an end. It's crazy to me that... The time of this filming that I've this event has been going on for five weeks already. Um, and if you are seeing this in you know current time, then as long as the event isn't over, you can still join us. All you have to do is post your starting photo and use the hashtag Alice in a Winter Wonderland. And you should. Are you going to enter with one of mine, or did you buy your own? Oh, it has to be diamond painting. Yes. No. It is a diamond painting event. Whoa. For anyone who's curious, my husband does not diamond paint. He's never diamond painted. Um, anyway. So, how are you guys doing? It has been... It has been a rough day in this house. Our kiddo has just been a mess. She has days where, like, she'll have moments, every kid's like that, where it's just, like, total, utter shit show, and nothing you do makes it better, and you're wondering at the end of the day, like, how did I survive this? And then there's other days where she's just a shit show most of the day, and then you have those glimmers of hopes, and then she's a total a-hole again, and you're like, god damn it. Um, and for anyone who does not know me who may have stumbled on this is the very first video. Hi, welcome. Um, but I love my kid. I love my kid more than anything else in the world, but I'm completely real. If any parent tells you their child is not a dick or not an asshole, they're lying to you. Um, Mine is that they, she learned it from her mom. Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> but anyway, today was a really hard day and... Uh, it was one of those moments, my kid is in that phase of her life where she thinks she doesn't need sleep, even though she needs sleep, and will be, like, falling asleep. Eyeballs are so heavy, those eyelids are struggling to stay open, and then you put her down for a nap, and then it's like, me, 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 me. My, my mom, 
often has to go when we call her on the phone because she has to go take a shower. And my kid spent 15 minutes today talking about, in her room, by herself, with her stuffed animals, talking about, I have to go, I have to take a shower. And I'm like, the things, the things that children pick up that, you know, like, why is, why is that something that she's having a conversation with her bears about? I don't know, but it is. And I would be lying if I said, oh, those are rare kinds of things. No, she always talks about weird things. When we can understand her. Oh, um, Albuquerque, I was just going to say that. For some reason, I don't know if I said it at some point or what, but today she kept trying to say Albuquerque and thought it was the funniest thing ever, but it sounded nothing like Albuquerque. And I figured it out, and then I was like, are you saying Albuquerque? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Uh, Calgagur. Like every every possible way you could butcher saying Albuquerque, my child said, and every time she said it, it made her laugh more than the time before. And I'm like, you are such an odd duck. I think I was saying to you in conversation because we were talking about you as in my husband. Sorry, it's very hard to film a whip and chat and be talking to you, the collective you, the people who are listening and watching this, versus the you of the husband that is sitting six feet away from me. So I do apologize. I will try to stop uh, addressing my husband as if he's actually in the room with me. Um, I know that was a joke because he just wants his own like happy hour here. I uh, know I just lost my train of thought. Albuquerque. So my husband was talking about shipping because there's a couple places that when they get shipped to or from, for him for business stuff that they just seem to sit and stay. And if you guys don't know, my husband, he is the data monster. He is uh, always linked down below, but he does custom Funko Pops. You can find him on Instagram, Etsy. Uh, somebody built their own website tonight. Oh, on the link tree. Yeah, well, I'll link that down below. Um, but... I forget where he was talking about, and I said, oh, it's really odd. When I get things coming from Albuquerque, they literally go from Albuquerque to our local sorting center to our house. Now, for those who don't know, was it yesterday? Okay. Um, for those who don't know, I live on the East Coast. So for something to come from New Mexico to Pennsylvania and make <laughs> one stop in Pennsylvania, I, I find that impressive because there's other packages that will go... And sit in Maryland for like a week. And you're like, what are you doing? So that's where she heard Albuquerque. I don't think she has a clue what Albuquerque is or anything like that. Which, I mean, I can't blame her. She's three. Why would she know these things? But anyway, so she was just going on and on. And she was giggling harder and harder every time she had to say Albuquerque. And it was making me giggle. Because it was making her giggle. But... For those who are parents of, I'll say, neurotypical children, um, I do have a question. And this will be, if you've been here long enough, you've heard me get on my soapbox many, many times. Where, like, one of the biggest things that you can do that, like, that you should never do to anyone is offer unsolicited parenting advice. So I am here. This is solicited. I am asking you for your opinion. So I have a toddler, she's three, and uh, she is not on the spectrum, but she does have her own differences, and I don't know what is considered normal or atypical behavior and what is considered, like, abnormal. I don't know. Um, I feel like every parent, no matter what your kids got going on, you're like, is that normal? But I need, I really need to, I, I really need people who don't have kids <laughs> with any differences to tell me if this is normal. Because our child obsesses, obsesses and harps and obsesses and harps. My husband ordered her a Mickey Mouse uh, RV, camping RV. Oh, look at that lovely piece of trash. Can you guys see that? Into the trash you go. This kit in particular, now I can't get it off my hand, um, has a lot of these, I'm just going to show you real quick, like little yellow round, almost miniature drills, but I have a square kit. Anyway, 
Nobody needed to see my trash. So this was easily a week ago that we ordered this. And she has this. I don't know if anyone else got one. We got an Amazon catalog this year, like their Christmas catalog. I love it. I was telling my mom about this. She's like, I didn't know Amazon had a Christmas catalog. And I'm like, neither did we. It just showed up. But it's their version of like the Sears catalog that if you grew up in, you know, the 80s or earlier. 80s, 90s. You think that if you were a 90s kid? Yeah, I guess so. Um, Not the, if you were born in the 90s. Yeah. You grew up in the 90s. Yeah. That you would know what I'm talking about. And um, she kept seeing this. And so she said something. And so my husband said in casual conversation to me, not even to her, that he ordered it. So, follow me with this because it's, I don't want to say it's long-winded, but it, it might take a minute or two to get to where I'm going. Just stick with me, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. So, explaining the mail to kids is like, okay, they don't get it. Um, she doesn't understand that when we say we ordered something, that she, she, like, she keeps going and opening the door, and I'm like, it's not outside, and she's like, no, it's outside, and I'm like, it's not outside. She doesn't understand that we have to wait for it to be delivered. That, I know, is very age-appropriate. That's very, you know, developmentally, that's where she should be. But then, she will sit there, and when I am telling you all day long, I... I I can't count how many times in a day my kid has brought up this Mickey van. When I got her from her neck. And it's literally like the first thing she says when she wakes up in the morning. And it's the last thing she's talking about before she goes to bed. And then each day we're like, it's not here yet. Uh, we ordered it off of Amazon, but it was one of those things that like it came back in stock. So it, it's still within their regular two-day shipping for Prime. But you can't ship in two days unless the product is on hand. Anyway, so it's coming this week. It should be here, I think my husband said tomorrow or the day after. Thursday. Oh, Thursday? Yeah. Oh, never mind. So, um, but she literally cannot get off of it. And we'll tell her, baby girl, it's not out there. It's not here yet. It's still coming. And she will burst into tears now mind you our kid gets super anxious really easily she does have an anxiety disorder and uh yes she's three for those who are counting and she one of her comforts is her toy cat it's like a stuffed animal cat and when she's overwhelmed one of the first Signs and symptoms of it is, I love my kitty cat, he's so cute. And that just means, like, I don't know what to do with these emotions. I need to put them on something, and then she will squeeze into her cat. That's fine, okay? We've, we've been dealing with that. That's not new to us. The thing that I'm wondering is the obsessive behavior. When do you know that it's normal versus, like, okay, this is much? She mentioned it to me, I don't know how many times today, so many times today, and I kept saying to her, it's not here. Like, it's not here. It's not outside. They still have to bring it in the mail. And then, of course, the next question is, well, let's go to the mailbox or let's go outside. I'm like, that's not how it works. Like, Just because you want the mail to be here does not mean that the mail is here. Um, don't tell her that, though, because she's stubborn and she's three. But I'm just curious, for those who have children, um, is that normal? Is that something your kid did? Is that, I mean, we definitely, it's not just this Mickey thing that she obsesses over. Like, it could be literally anything. Um, you could say in conversation, like, oh, I want to make cookies tomorrow. And then she'll bring it up over and over and over. And then if you tell her, well, we can't make cookies today, baby girl. We don't have any flour. Then she's so overwhelmed that she can't even, like, function. Quick water break. Um, I don't know. I'm telling you, 
kids are exhausting. Whether they're your kid or not, kids are exhausting. I was saying to my husband today, I don't know when the world is going to get better, obviously. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, yay, we've made it. Um, or yay, hopefully we've made it. I, so for those who don't know, uh, we had a Disney vacation for April 1st, 2020, completely paid in full. And then the day after we paid for it, got a call from our travel agent saying, so we're going to have to cancel the trip. And we rescheduled it a few times and it just never worked out. Uh, so we still have not made our trip. And I would love, my husband's never been to Disney. My child's never been to Disney. I was at Disney once when I was four. Um, I don't remember it. I've seen pictures, but, you know, it was going to be, you know, a really special time for us to go to Disney. Um, we live near a local amusement park, but nothing like Disney. And I don't want to take my kiddo to Disney in a time where she's going to be required to wear a mask. Now, I don't leave my house. Like, I legit don't go anywhere. Um, and by the way, I'm not one of those people that goes, oh my God, I don't go anywhere. I have to go to the market today and then I have to go pick up, uh, you know, my kids this and, and I need to drop them off at, at, uh, soccer class. Like I don't go anywhere. I've not been inside a restaurant, a store, a pharmacy since almost a year. Um, and again, this is not up for debate. It's just, it is how it is. I have a child with a compromised airway. I'm doing everything that I can in my power to protect her to the best of my abilities. Um, so, totally lost my train of thought where I was going with that. Oh, Disney. So, I really, like, I don't want to... My kid has been able to wear a mask. I think the longest she's been able to wear it is 13 minutes. Is that because of sensory needs, or because she's three, or because she's been in the house for a year? Oh, yes. All of the above. Like, I don't know. I don't know how else to address that, but... Um, it's one of those things that I want it to be enjoyable and I want it to be memorable, but I don't want it to be memorable for the wrong reasons. I don't want it to be memorable because she couldn't hug her favorite princess or that she had to wear a mask or that we had to spend half of our trip in the calm down rooms. I just want it to be okay for her. And it sucks because we were going to go. She was still two when we were going to go. So she would have been free. Now we have to pay for her, which that sucks. If you don't have, if you didn't budget for that, to budget for an extra ticket, sucks. We were always going to get her an airline ticket because um, my husband and I are both large people and uh, we've flown with her before. And let's just say it was not a fun experience. Fun fact, if you are out there and you have never flown with your child, um, I won't regale you with my, my horror stories, but... I will tell you, if your kid has any kind of straw cup, so a weighted straw cup, a Contigo water bottle, anything like that, do yourself a favor and twist the lid to let in some air and then pop the straw. You will thank me later because nobody explained to us that, yes, contents under pressure will explode actually means your kid's water bottle will turn into a damn fountain and we had water in one cup Silly milk things. in the other cup and it was like the trevi fountain just streams of liquid shooting everywhere it was so uncomfortable i couldn't get it to stop i didn't know why it was happening i mean now i know but i didn't at the time and um it just it, it did not stop I was like, oh my God, and my husband, we were on one of those small planes where it had two seats on one side of the aisle and one seat on the other. And, uh, I love how I said, oh, I won't tell you guys my horror stories. And yet here I am. Sorry. I'm trying to find colors here. Um, but yeah, it was, it was unpleasant and I could not, he couldn't get out of his seat to help us. Like he couldn't get there quick enough. And the hell is this? There we go. It's 
It's always where you least expect it. Um, it just, it was something else, I'll tell you. But <laughs> that wasn't even the worst part of our travel. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord. But I'll just tell you that. If you're, if you're flying with a child, it doesn't need to be a baby. If you're flying with a child and they have a cup with a straw, like a sealed cup, not like a... A tumbler with a plastic straw kind of thing in it. Because the air is coming in and out of that the whole time. So, um, in advance, you're welcome. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we took my daughter to visit her uncle in Oklahoma. In, was that 2018? Mm -hmm. And that was fun. It was, it was fun and exhausting, and um, we enjoyed it, most of it. Traveling with a child, I don't care who you are, traveling with a child is not fun. Um, I mean, I don't know how it would work now, because, you know, she, <laughs> she can get in and out of bed willy-nilly like it's no big deal. I mean, to her, it is no big deal. Anyway, I am totally all over the place, so... What's new? The Hot Mess Express. So, I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful February. January felt like the longest year ever. No, you didn't hear that wrong. I did say longest year ever. And I am ready for 2021 to just have an uptick and have things going on. For those who asked and reached out about my husband, he is doing... Much, much better. He actually has a follow-up with the surgeon's office. Uh, in real time, it's tomorrow, but I don't know when you guys are going to see this. Um, so it may have already happened by the time this goes live. But he, the wound looks much better, and we haven't had to actually pack it in uh, like a week? Maybe? I don't know. In a few days? So, but thank you for everyone who, you know, sent messages message him, message me, um, to check in and see how he was doing, and, um, they didn't go unnoticed, and they were greatly appreciated, and so, uh, thank you guys so much. It's amazing. I, I know that I am a small content creator, and, you know, I have, uh, a normal size amount of people on Instagram, I guess, I don't know, um, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, all of my information is always down below, uh, I have a Facebook group, I do have an Instagram, and, uh, all of it's always down below. If I ever say that I will link something in the eye or down below and I don't, please just kindly let me know. Um, there's so much anger and hatred going on, especially in this crafting community recently, and it's, it's a little hard to handle. It's very hard to handle. I don't know why I'm saying it's a little. like This is something that most of us do because we find it to be relaxing um, or stress relieving or uh, distracting, if you will. And I know that I have a small little corner of the internet here and I like to try to make it the best that I can. And that inflection just made it sound like I was asking a question. But I really do want you all to know that if you are here, you are greatly appreciated. If you feel like you don't know where else you belong, you've hopefully found your little, your little niche here. I really have found that a lot of people who feel... Like, they don't know where they belong. I don't want to say that they don't belong, but they don't know where they belong. Have really warmed my heart and kind of settled in here. And I I am eternally grateful because I'm, I'm one of you. I'm aimlessly wandering around questioning a lot of things. And it's great to have people who just want the best for you. I am using my event space here to 
do the featured account. I know I mentioned that earlier. Um, and that's my way of using my platform, however small it is, to uplift other people. I have said it before and I will say it again and I will continue to say it until I am blue in the face. But we are better together than we are apart and we need to be uplifting those around us rather than pulling them down to bring ourselves up. Um, <laughs> and if you've been here for any length of time, you've probably heard this in like every single whip and chat that I do, um, whether it's event related or not. And it's true. I 110% feel like that. You know, you don't need to bring someone else down to, to bring yourself up. Um, my husband always says there's enough food for all of us and he's right. You'll see if you follow him on Instagram, he will shout out other people who do similar things to him and people will be like, well, isn't that taking business away from you? No. If this is somebody who specializes in something that he doesn't, uh, like he has a girl who does mermaid pops, for example. So if that's something you're interested in, he'll send you their way because not that he can't do it, but that's what she specializes in. So, and, uh, and like international, I don't do it. Oh yeah. International. Yeah. So, Unfortunately, I mean, um, he does not do international shipping. So I don't trust it. yeah, well that and the delays and the shipping costs, it's just not cost effective at the moment either. So anyway, that's, I, let's not get into that right now, but we are, I'm here and I try to use my little platform the best way that I can. So you will find that often that means me shouting out other content creators or other crafters or other people who have inspired my day, my week, my life, just inspired me in any way. I will use my platform, and I know it's not for everyone, to talk about being uh, an airway advocate and a special needs mom. And it's not because I am trying to garner any kind of sympathy or anything like that. If I have an opportunity to raise awareness for something that a lot of people haven't heard of, just by simply mentioning it in one of my conversations then I would be doing a disservice if I didn't use my platform in that way. And that's obviously my personal preference. And, and there are a lot of people who feel they don't want to share any kind of personal information, and that's totally fine. Whatever works for you works for you. And I would never force anyone to do something they're uncomfortable with. But for me, my husband and I are huge volunteers for... Uh, coping with Laryngomalacia, for example. That is the nonprofit that we do all of our volunteer and fundraising work for. My daughter was born with an airway disorder called Laryngomalacia, and the group did so much for us that the least we can do is give back. And a lot of that, for me, is using my platforms, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, and doing posts that raise awareness and having people ask questions, well, what does that mean? Or what did that look like for you? Or, you know, how did you handle that? Like those kinds of things, because not everybody has that. Um, we didn't have that. And I'd like to be that for someone else. So I am always talking about, you know, LM and, and in my videos, you'll see a lot of it in my stories and it's just my way of helping to raise awareness in a really easy way, if I can. I mean, obviously not everything in this world is going to be simple. Um, which, if you are alive, you know that. <laughs> you don't have to be a parent. You don't have to, you know, be in a relationship. You don't have to... Like, you don't have to be anything specific to know. Like, life is hard. It And for some people, it's harder than others. And uh, for some people, it's more difficult to deal with than others. And I am also very 
open and honest with my own mental health struggles, and uh, this is a safe space for that as well. Um, and I, I, I'm happy that this is kind of how things have shaped themselves in my little bubble here. And um, I just want you to know that if you are here watching this right now, that you are appreciated and that you are loved and that I'm really thankful for you. And I guess that's really all I have to say about that. So I got a planner. Nice little segue. But like segue, not like beep beep segue. Um, so I have been trying to, every single year, the goal of my life, and I'm not going to say the goal of the year, the goal of my life is to get more organized. I am horrible at it. I never know when something is, is coming up or, you know, I, I am not one of the people that can remember off the top of my head, even though it's the same Damn time, every damn week, when our therapies are, I still have to look at my calendar every single week and go, what time's speech? What time's this? What time's that? I just, I don't know why. So for me, I got a planner to help keep me on track. Now, look, planner people, you know who you are, and I appreciate that you love going ham on your planner, but my planner is going to just be, hey, I'm writing in the things that I need to write, and that's it. So, I mean, maybe one day I will want to decorate it or do something nice with it, but here's my thing. For the people who do like planners, if I'm not writing, I know that people decorate them first and then they fill them out. Okay, so... If I'm not filling it out with as much information as I can, does that mean that every week you have to then scramble to get all of your stuff in? I just, I cannot see the logic in that. I, I, that's me personally. And if you love doing planner stuff, like, bravo to you. I just, I just can't. I just need to be able to put in basic stuff. So I was working on mine. And when I say working, I mean literally filling in the dates and times for appointments. And like I do a family Zoom session. I do them every other Saturday. But it's only the, the second and the fourth Saturday. So if there's five Saturdays in a month, then we'll go two weeks with uh, no Zoom. <sighs> It's a pain in the butt. But for my planner, um, which let me actually, I know somebody's going to like totally cringe at this. Uh, if you guys are looking, I put in the family Zoom two weeks in a row on the wrong day and I crossed it off. So for all you, oh, I guess it was the week before, but I, I can't. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to... Oh, God. Now now my pages are falling out. What is happening? What is happening? Are they supposed to be doing this? <laughs> you guys, if you did not know, I am the conductor of the Hot Mess Express. Look how cute her face looks. Um, anyway. So, back to diamond painting. But I just tried to fill out like two like the month of February just the basics like there's one day a week that I post the stuff for one of our uh, our shops like my handmade shop does a drop every Monday I post for my earring shop every Thursday every Tuesday I have speech every other Monday I have one session every other Friday I have another session every other set or every second and fourth Saturday I have a zoom call like it's just like so I'm just trying to get my life together and uh I'm I'm not even a whole weekend with having my planner and I'm already like <sighs> but I mean I love when I see other people's planners and they they look really pretty and 
I just, I feel like that takes away from me being able to just toss in that, oh, I have an appointment on this day, or on that day, or I have this, or, you know, so, like, my husband has his appointment tomorrow, and then he has another appointment with a different doctor another day this month. I put all of those things in there, um, sorry, if you guys are hearing that, that's his phone. That was ESPN. Oh. All right, who won? The Buccaneers. Okay. Anyway. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you can I know. That's why I'm laughing. Um, when is it acceptable to no longer say spoiler alert? No, I'm not talking about the Super Bowl. I'm talking about, like, an in-general thing. Well, I'm not talking about the Super Bowl either. If I'm talking about TV, it's one week. What about movies? Movies, I would say one month. Wow, really? Yep. I don't know. I mean, like, here's the thing. If it's, like, six cents, one month. If it's, like, some obscure Russian film, you know, you can't really say anything. You can ask somebody if they've seen it, and then be like, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. There's not really a right answer. Speaking of speaking of entertainment, my husband and I were having a conversation tonight. Have you ever had to do something that you can't have music streaming in the background, like YouTube or Instagram, and you don't want to turn off your playlist because you're really getting into it? No? Just me? Well, that's what was happening before I started recording this, but... I started out with a Fleetwood Mac song and it spiraled into all sorts of different things, and then, um... Tom Petty started playing. Besides rock and roll, because that's a large umbrella term here, what specific genre would you consider Tom Petty? I don't have an answer for this, so it's not like a, I'm trying to see who's right and who's wrong. Like, I literally don't know what you specify him as, because he's been around long enough that, like, he should fit classic rock but i don't think that he's like hard enough to be classic rock i don't know so i'm curious of your thoughts and if you don't know who tom petty is you were probably born in like 2000 i don't know not throwing shade but i'm just saying i'm just really curious but we have a a google a google mini we have one up here, we have one in our kitchen, we have one in our bedroom, and we have one in our kiddos' room. The one in our kiddos' room is really nice because at night we can tell it to play Sounds of the Ocean, and then it's like a built-in sound machine. And then in the morning, if she's up and she's ready to go and we're still in our room getting ready or doing whatever it is, like, you know, trying to still sleep or, you know, normal stuff. We can be like, play, uh, like, Princess and the Frog soundtrack, for example. So it works out really well. But you can tell it to play an artist or a song, and then it'll just, you know, build its own little playlist. And you can just kind of like Pandora, you can be like, all right, no, next. Um, so the best was the one day. This is one of those things of, like, how to tell somebody your parent without telling somebody your parent. We asked, we said, just play some music, Google. And it started playing um, Hot Dog Dance. And I was like, are you kidding me? For those who don't know what I'm talking about, um, the Hot Dog Dance is from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Or all of the Mickey Mouses. And Dawn, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. I hope I didn't just put it in your head again. But it is definitely a song that's played 8 billion times a day in our house. Um that, Bobby Mine, and the theme song to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And then she's got a couple others, like Stinky Feet. She likes that song. Um, I don't know. And there's usually, like, some oddball song we haven't heard in months. And she's like, I want to hear blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, what? The one day she wanted Little Bunny Foo Foo, but she couldn't say that. And we were like, what are you asking for? Bunny song. We're like, what song? She's like, Bunny. We're like, what the hell is the Bunny song? I figured it out, like, hours later. And then once it played, she was like, <gasps> you know, which another thing about my kid, which I know this is, again, developmentally like sound stuff, but it drives me crazy, is the I want something. What do you want? Something. But she expects me to know what that means, even though I'm sure she has no idea what it means. 
Um, it's oops, sorry. Same thing as like when you when you get the occasional I'm hungry. She doesn't understand that like you tell us what are you hungry for? What do you want to eat? She's just like I hungry. Anyway, so back to the music. Um, so yesterday I played. There's Whitney Houston. And it's it snowballed into a lot of ooh, that was almost bad. A lot of Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey and a couple other it was a little random here and there, but for the most part, Madonna, um which somehow then got into TLC. I mean, it was a very random playlist, but um the one tonight I sometimes I'll ask my husband, do you know what I, I not song and artist but if you know like you can kind of tell what influenced a playlist so sometimes we're like what do you what do you think started this one and i think yesterday you thought it was mariah carey there's a lot of mariah carey yeah yesterday the thing was mariah carey but ooh, ooh, guys so for my I don't know where I was going with this. If anyone saw my story the other day, I got the lid stuck on my candle. It's never happened before. Uh, somebody recommended running, a couple of people actually recommended running it under hot water. My husband actually used a knife blade and was able to open it up. So that was good. But that's our last candle. And my debit card disappeared. We're pretty sure we know what happened to it. Again, I don't go anywhere. So it's not like it was stolen. It wasn't left anywhere. Um, but... I needed to reissue it, and of course, I got an email tonight of a one-day flash sale from Bath & Body Works, uh, including their candles, and I was like, so my husband picked up a couple candles for me. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for warm-scented candles, like I love, like vanilla and pumpkin, um, they're really moving into, like, summer scents now, which, okay, fine, but um, we were able to pick up a couple on their flash sale, but it's amazing how I can get some candles from Bath and Body Works that I can smell on all three floors of our house. And then there's other candles that even when I light them or blow them out, I can't even smell them. It just blows my mind. So if you have any good recommendations, I love when Bath Body Works does their uh, huge candle sale, but can't always wait for that. Candle always wait for that. No. The candle always wait. That's what I said. I know. So, where are we at? Way yet. Way yet. We are cruising right along. I have a bunch of videos to film this week. I need to soak my air babies this week. You don't know what I'm talking about. I have air plants, and you don't pot them. They they just survive off of air, and the liquid in the air. And my goal is to progress to an actual succulent at some point this year. I actually have an entire section of our crafting room. That I'd like to, I don't know where it will go, but it'll be where I put my crystals and my air plants. And I really want to do Willa from Diamond Art Club, uh, Mika Jelena, and hang her. I think it would be such a beautiful, she just gives me those vibes. I feel like she looks like people that I see in my small shop world and... And if you guys want another small shop haul, I've got a bunch of packages that I haven't opened. Um, mainly because we don't go anywhere, so I gotta be more on top of it, though. Because my kiddo, if you guys don't know, my daughter and I rep for a bunch of small shops. Um, everything from denim to handmade clothing and jewelry... A lot of cool stuff. And um, 
I used to take rep photos a lot, and for us, our rep photos were um, flat lays. Which, if you don't know what that is, like, I literally, like, put her clothes on the floor, lay them out, style them, and then take a picture. Because they don't show my kiddo. But even then, I don't want to be doing all these flat lays because then my kid wants to get dressed. God forbid. <laughs> and, uh, where did that one go? Well, I'll find that one later. But, I don't know. It's just, it's snowy, it's cold. I'm not really about that real pants life. Like, my husband was super fancy yesterday. He was wearing a plaid button-down with plaid pajama pants. And that was only, oh I was going to say, it was only because he had to do a post office run for his business. And um, he just kept the flannel on because it was warm and comfortable. And changed into pajama pants. And it's like, we just wear pajamas. Although... Today, my kiddo said that mommy was beautiful and it melted my heart. Also, she's oddly really loves eyebrows. Um, I think today was the first time she's ever been about your eyebrows. But she announced, and when I say your in this instance, I'm talking about my husband's, not collectively all of yours. She might be obsessed with your eyebrows. I don't know. Um, I don't know what goes on in that big old brain of hers. What? She's weird. She's <laughs> she is weird. Yeah, she very well could be. No, I'm throwing it. Yeah, he has this little, uh, I think it's called a boogie board, and he was drawing a portrait of me. Sorry, I'm explaining it just because sometimes the audio doesn't work great for when you're sitting over there. No, no, um, no, and I think the reason my husband pointed out that he was drawing eyebrows for mommy is because when I do front faced videos for YouTube, I'm always like, my eyebrows disappear on camera. Now, look, I have really light eyebrows in real life. Like, very light. They're there. But when you put on a bright ring light, they wash them out. And bye-bye eyebrows. And so then she said, Mommy's eyebrows are so beautiful. And he's like, okay. And then she discovered his eyebrows. And um, she likes... Your eyebrows. She's like, eyebrows? Yeah. She, I don't know. She re Yeah, she really likes eyebrows. I don't know. She will sit there and rub them the opposite direction. So, like, if your hair grows, like, from, like, the bridge of your nose out, she'll rub them, like, towards the bridge of your nose. Um, and that was probably a really super unneeded visual of my child and her love of eyebrows. But, you know, sometimes it's not the things you, you ask for that you receive. But, you know? Okay, I will get what you want. Wow, look at you doing your second uh, Rolling Stones reference of the day. The first one, you didn't even realize it was Rolling Stones. No, I didn't realize that was Rolling Stones either. Really? No, it was <laughs> My God, that's... Okay, I'm not even a big Rolling Stones fan. I don't know that I could... I don't like any music made before 1985, and even then it has to be hair bands. Oh my God. Or country. Nope. You guys. I don't like any country made after 1985. So. so you just like country from 1985. No, no. I said I don't like any older music than 1985. Yeah, and then I said you only like country from 1985. Oh, thereabouts, yeah. Okay. I like older country. Okay, Not well. New bullshit. Okay, well, before we start to, you know, make everyone mad, I'm going to wrap this up here. It's a good place to stop. I got a lot filled in. Don't um, at me. Oh, my God. And nobody fuel his fire because he'll just keep going. I love the man, but... So, if you have any questions for a Q&A with the Data Monster, please leave them down below or shoot me a DM. And, uh... That's all I got for you guys tonight. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure you give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And make sure you hit that notification bell. Okay. Thank you. I do not upload on any sort of uh, schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. I record while my child is sleeping or sleeping. Uh, I, I really do genuinely mean it when I say from the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate each and every one of you who has come and decided to spend the last hour with me. Uh, so thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys! Bye.